Yeah. Cap was always getting into trouble. Even before he got into the army and became Captain America. You've all learned about World War II, right? Well, like everything, it's different when you're there. The first time I saw Steve, Cap, after the serum, it was like looking at a different person. But after a moment I realized that finally, finally he had a body that matched the personality inside. The capability, the drive, the man that he was the rest of the world could finally see. He was given an opportunity that not many people had. And he used that opportunity to save the world. More than once, even. He... Uh... Kids... Can you excuse me, I... I think I have a visitor. How's this? If you give me some time alone with our guest, I'll finish that story. And tell you about the time the Cap punched Hitler right in his big Nazi face. Yeah? Great. Thank you. I... You're here. T'Challa didn't... Does he know? Of course. How else would you? I, it's, it's been a while, it's good to see you, how long have I been out of cryostasis, I, six months, something like that, I'm not keeping too much track of time out here. Ah, uh, do I, uh, well, out here, there's no obligations, I suppose. I, I've just been living, helping, small things here and there, pulling my own weight, but not fighting a war. I... Shuri and T'Challa told me that they did what they could to reverse the brainwashing Hydra had me under, but it isn't just as simple as snapping your fingers and having it go away. They helped remove the vocal triggers, the sleeper signals, undid the chemical damage that decades of injections via the arm did to me but everything else they said had to be done by me and well there is someone I talk to at least once a week uh, they come out here uh, so I guess therapy also I'm I'm not living in this city, I... There's still... Too many people. T'Challa said it was... Alright for me to stay out here. Have a small farm. A few goats. Away from too many distractions. Work on my triggers and... Start off slow. The kids... Oh, they're relatively harmless. And besides, it... The person I talk to mentions that... Talking about the... Good... Portions of my past that I remember it... It might trigger more positive memories. And help... Create... More positive memories. And... The kids are... Sweet, really. They don't know much about me and 
what happened with the Winter Soldier and T'Challa seems to trust me with him. And if he can do that after what I've done, then there must be a reason. For so much of my adult life and now beyond what is considered a normal lifespan for someone. I've been fighting wars. And for the first time in over 70 years, I'm finally allowed to just be. And that's what I'm trying to do. This is the safest place for me, at least for right now. Life without an arm isn't that bad. I can still write. I can still function. I've gotten fairly used to it at this point. The metal one didn't even feel like an arm to begin with. More like... It was a weapon attached to my body. That's all they ever wanted from me. These are some of the goats they let me have. The nanny goat's name is Sarah. And her kid's name is... Steve. He's always getting into trouble. Reminds me of someone. I... I do miss him. God, yes, I... I missed you too. I... I'm sorry I didn't contact you. I... I didn't want... I wanted to be... better you. For the next time I saw you, I... After what happened with Tijana's father, the, the Avengers disbanding because of me, I... Me being in America isn't safe for anyone. Especially me. And the ones that I love. That's why you came to visit, isn't it? You missed me. Did T'Challa contact you? Shuri. Huh. Yeah. She's the kind of person who probably knows better. I... I'm sorry. For a lot of things. I seem calmer. Well, I, I suppose out here I don't feel like everyone is out to get me. People here trust me, at least more than they did back home. I don't always feel on edge, and without the chemical dependence of the arm and some of the more dangerous parts of the brainwashing, it's easier. Not great, but easier. I invite you to stay here, but I don't really have that authority. I'm very glad to see you here, though. It's almost surreal. I know this. 
care lasts forever. That you'd have to be purposefully ignorant not to see the upcoming fight ahead. I know that's probably also why you're here. It's not just to see me, is it? That's all right. I was partially expecting it. I... I caught wind of them. The Wakanda scientists, uh, I think... They're making me another arm. A better arm. I know T'Challa doesn't want to give it to me, but... I'm... Preparing... For when it happens. But we're together right now, even if it ends up being a short visit. I, soldiers, sometimes have to find ways to take pleasure and peace when it comes. It's hard to plan for the future, not hard to dream but hard to solidly plan. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know what's going to happen with the upcoming war. So, all I can promise is the present. I can promise what we have now. And well, I know it isn't much. When the time comes, when we do have to fight, I will fight for you. I will fight with you, with all my heart, and whatever the outcome is, I love you. Ah, hey, come here, doll. I might not give as good a hug as before on account of my arm, but I think they're still pretty good. <sighs> Together, we have the strength to be able to continue fighting, continue to strive for a better life. You are so strong, so capable, so brave. Coming out here with this news, seeing me after so long, the unknown, it's frightening. God, do I know it's terrifying. It may not have been what I initially signed up for. I may be a soldier past my time and past my prime. But I know that I'm going to try to continue to strive for a better life. A better world. When the time comes. Even if you don't think you're strong. Or feel like you're at the breaking point. Or afraid you keep going. You've kept going. Taking all the things that life and the universe threw at you. Even when you felt like you're falling apart. Huh. I guess we're the same in this aspect, huh? No wonder we work so well together. Hey. While you're here, let's spend whatever time you have together. If you want, I, I can show you around a little more. Introduce you to the kids. I'm sure they'd love to meet you. And have a million questions for you. Live 
for the present. Just for a while.